Putting a brand new ocean blue display in a quasi midi Raven, can it be done? Here's what the factory display looks like. Regular yellowish green color. If this works, man, gonna have a blue display on a blue Raven. The reason I wanna change this display is it has some dark spots in the backlight. It's just where the backlight isn't as bright. Kinda looks like bar dim spots. There's a guy on named Matt who sells these. His name is Saint Baz. This display is an Akai S900 series replacement. Matt modified this thing some and it should go right in here, man. Let's open this thing up. Looks like we have screws back here and I know these sides would have to come off. You got Allen screws on the side. Let's go ahead and pull these sides off. Oh yeah, here's an Allen wrench. I don't know what size it is. It looks like this lid here is just held in place by the wood. So with the side gone, this is free to lift up. Gonna do the same thing to this side. Same setup on this side. You got the bottom screws that hold the wood in place and the wood holds the lid in place. Next, flip it around and we have some Phillips head screws here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this isn't hinged, so I'm gonna have to be careful and just flip this without snatching on ribbon cables. This is what a quasi midi Raven looks like under the hood. It's got two main boards. That's probably a battery under there. This is the max expansion, that card. Oh, you can just pick one of these up anywhere. What do you call that? A purple unicorn or something? This thing's pretty simple, man. You know, small circuit boards. It's really a good design, I think. There's not much to it. Let's pull this display out. Here's the ribbon cable, of course. And this is the voltage line to the backlight. We're not gonna be needing this with the new display, but I'm not gonna unsolder anything until we know this new display is gonna work. I guess I can always just solder it back, but I'm gonna try to leave that connected until we see what the new display looks like. Man, my least favorite thing to do is unplugging ribbon cables because I'm always afraid I'm gonna break something. And it's for a valid reason too because I've just had these ribbon cables just come unhinged. Oh, that, that was easy. Never mind. We have studs with nuts holding the display on and I know that's metric because I'm made in Germany, but I am using a 730 seconds. But to do it right, you would want a metric. This one here is so close to these pins. I'm gonna have to use like some kind of wrench or something. I don't recommend using needle nose pliers. You're walking mine. <laughs> hmm. Man, haters can't see I'm a hundred percent legit. This stuff here is either something spilled or glue. I think it's glue, man. Man, these displays look exactly the same size. There were black plastic spacers I took off and I set them right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take six more nuts off and pull the whole jewel or whatever you call it out of here. This display is the exact same size as the factory one. Matt put these washers on here just in case I needed them to keep it from pushing through the display, but I don't need them, so I'm just gonna peel them off. Yeah, looks like they come off pretty easy. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this washer on because there's two conductors under there and that'll keep the nut from shorting out on those. 
Got the black spacers on. And in case you didn't see, peel the cellophane off of that. Yep, it goes right down in there like the factory display. Hell yeah. Look at that, man. Let me just start these because we want to power this thing on, make sure nothing is upside down. You know what I'm saying? This was in here like this. Yeah. And this went like this. Here's the moment of truth. It's hard to get these blue displays to show up in cameras. They always do this pulse thing. Man, it looks great though, in person. And you can see the backlight is still connected to this one. You can see them ripples in it now. This would be a lot nicer to look at. And plus it's gonna match the blue. We shut this thing off and we gotta put this thing back together. Okay, I tightened all this up off camera. Now the old display has got that backlight wire. Gonna remove these with a soldering iron. And here's the factory display. Gonna put this up in a parts bag that says Raven on it. All the hardware's in. I'm gonna go through and torque it down in a pattern and I'll be back. While I got this thing out, let's go through some sounds.
Thank you so much for checking the video out. This is it for now. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next video. It's a pizza pie over here.